Gate Technology course, and my dissertation is called Code Lab, a game that teaches high-level programming languages. So basically the project stemmed from seeing uh, so many of my peers not understanding how to program properly, they didn't understand the fundamentals, and it also stemmed from a change in the GCSE syllabus uh, for computer science, computer seeing, and ICT, where now they teach high-level programming languages to a younger audience. So there was a need for basically educational supplements that aided people in learning programming languages. So the literature, review, literature, the literature review is in two parts. So the first part was looking at popular learning theories like social constructivism and uh, social cognition and things like that so that I got an understanding of how people learn and the educational side of the project. And then that was combined with the um, game design aspects. So I looked at people like Ray Costa and Jesse Shell to see how I could fuse the entertainment and educational aspects so that there was a fine balance so that the people playing the game didn't feel like the educational aspects were too heavy-handed and they felt like the game was entertaining so they could keep playing. The uh, way people learn is through problem solving and stuff like that, so I designed my game around including puzzles and problems for the player to solve whilst going through the game and I included uh, things like tutorialization because people playing this game might never have played a game before so it needed to be easily accessible for the audience. So I created an, educa an educational game for the project and it was made in the Unity engine and was programmed in C Sharp. And it basically included two different uh, mechanics. There was sort of a jigsaw type puzzle mechanic, which was reminiscent of visual programming languages that younger people in the educational spectrum might have experienced prior to GCSE. And it also included a real life coding element where the players would program in C Sharp and doing so would affect objects in the environment which would help them progress through puzzles. So I tested the game with 24 students from um, a GCSE level from schools in the Bournemouth area and they were given a pre-game test which was 10 questions and it basically covered the spectrum of the educational content that was being taught in the game and they were also given a survey which asked them general questions to do with things like how long they played games on a week, the course that they took, and then they were tasked with playing the game and during the progress of the game uh, analytical data was uh, collected which basically had things like how long it took them to play the game, how long it took them between each puzzle, how many times they failed the puzzle, certain things like that, and that was sent back to me. And then once they had completed the game, they were given a, another 10 question quiz, which was exactly the same as the first one. But the first time they weren't given the actual correct answers, so they didn't know the correct answers. And then finally they were given another survey, which asked them things about what they thought of the experience, what they thought could be improved by the game, how they thought, um, whether they thought the educational content was too heavy handed, and how fun they thought the game was. So the game was successful in teaching the educational content. There was an average of 20% increase in test results from playing the game, so that was really good to see. And um, but the main problem was that the game wasn't entertaining enough. It was a bit too heavy-handed on the educational aspects. So there was a need for a finer balance between entertainment and ed education in the game that I created. Um, but another interesting aspect was that there was certain information in the game that wasn't necessarily needed for the player to progress in the game. And on the large, about 80 or 90% of people didn't even look at that information. They didn't take it in because they didn't need it to progress. So it highlighted a bit of a interesting fact. Uh, the best part was the best part of the dissertation was the design section. It was in my mind I thought it would be quite an easy task, but it was actually very complex um, designing a game for people to learn. It was very difficult to think of ways that it might be enjoyable for the player and overall it was actually quite a difficult task which was enjoyable.